friends after. Yet now we can't even leave our own homes. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse. So today, 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 we're gonna do another reaction video. Before I get into the reaction, guys, I wanna thank everybody who's been supportive. You're the realest MVP, man. Thank you so much. And man, you know, um, I want to thank uh, the people who've been actually, um, you know, supporting us also on the other channel, uh, Funny and Jesse 2.0. You guys are really amazing. And also, um, I want you guys to just go to our Patreon. The link is going to be in the description below. Just go there and just click on the Patreon um, link, and it's going to take you to our Patreon page. And just subscribe over there. The aim of us doing a Patreon is just to enable you guys to support us in each and every way. And uh, that's where we put in also videos that uh, probably we couldn't just put on YouTube. Sometimes, you know, um, YouTube doesn't allow us to put some videos and sometimes they block it. Sometimes they actually uh, don't give us that access to actually upload some certain videos and whatnot. So we've managed and we've thought like, hey, why don't we have a Patreon where you can also support us and we can actually put videos for you actually to enjoy and learn and actually be part of it and actually feel like you're part of a family and feel like you're part of a uh, of, a, <laughs> of a regime or something <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for the people who've been supportive you guys are amazing thank you so much and also thank you for getting us to 13,600 subscribers we're gonna get to 14,000 in a few weeks and I know we're gonna get there very very soon and to all the Muslims out there who are actually on Ramadan you are blessed and I uh, wish you again uh, Ramadan Karim and I'm gonna give you out my update on my fasting and whatnot probably in the future videos I'm gonna let you know and yes yeah, so right about now we're gonna do this reaction video and this one was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go rather I should go react to uh, no one saw this coming Ramadan 2020 lockdown yeah so without any further ado man let's get it the truth is I never saw this coming the kingdom has temporarily suspended entry to those visiting to do the Umrah pilgrimage and this a first for British Muslims 100,000 people have lost their jobs in just the last couple of days. Yet as much as I tried to brush it all aside, life just kept getting worse. And what makes it so scary is all this was happening on the doors of Ramadan. What was supposed to be the best month of the entire year. I mean the month where friends and family come together, yet now we can't even shake each other's hands. And what makes it so heartbreaking right now is the fact that the only place that ever gave me comfort has been taken away too. I mean all those nights at the masjid and the catch-ups with our friends after Yet now we can't even leave our own homes now is the time to turn the page I'm owning up to my mistakes I broke your trust, I am to blame Like what are we supposed to do after breaking our fast? Just sit at home? <coughs> Everything I ever knew about Ramadan is now over and I would do anything in the world to have it back like it was. I can't take 
like this anymore. This is the saddest Ramadan of my life. Now I call you, will you forgive me? So many times I turned away, but you're always there for me. I need your love, cause I'm breaking up, and I've had enough. I need you to fix me. You're the only one who keeps me strong. You forgive my wrongs. You never leave me. But as much as it hurts, maybe this Ramadan won't be so bad after all. I mean, I still have so much to be grateful for. And with the masjid now closed, maybe it's time I turn my home into a masjid. I mean, yes, things have changed, but maybe this is the Ramadan that I was waiting for. With no distractions, no missed opportunities, just me and Allah. And that's everything I need to make my Ramadan the best Ramadan of my life. I need your love, cause I'm breaking up, and I've had enough, I need you to fix me, you're the only one, who keeps me strong, you forgive my wrongs, you never leave. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On behalf of the team at One Path Network, we would love to wish you all a Ramadan Mubarak. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you would love to see more content just like this, please head over to our website at onepathnetwork.com and check out ways you can support to produce more content like this. Jazakallah khairan and thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Wow. Such a sad video over there, man. Such a sad, sad video. No one saw this coming. Yeah, of course, nobody saw this coming. And it actually got people um, shocked or something. It got people, uh, you know, abruptly just, you know, all of a sudden everything is just on lockdown and whatnot. And uh, I mean, it's even more bad for the Muslims who are actually uh, doing the Ramadan uh, at this particular moment on lockdown. It's really, I understand man, it's really hard man. It's really incredibly hard because you really want to go pray, you want to go out there, be with your uh, friends and family, you want to, uh, what do you call this? You want to go out there, just eat nice food, you get it? You know, I can imagine uh, back in my country, uh, there's a place where there's just a lot of food. I mean, there's an open area where they cook lovely food. The bajiyas, the kaimati, you know, mahambri, mandazi, and all those sweet, amazing foods. But look, look at now. I mean, no, nothing is happening. Nothing is going on, and everybody's just indoors. Even the fear of just you going and helping your neighbor, probably just giving your neighbor food. It's not, I mean, the fear is just so intense. Like you can't even just go out there and just give something to your neighbor. My neighbor, sorry, my landlord, he's a Muslim. And whenever there's Ramadan, he will just come and probably give us uh, food and something like that. But now things are different. Uh, no one would want to accept food from another person because they fear that they're gonna get infected. They fear that they're gonna subject themselves uh, uh, they fear that they're gonna be more susceptible to uh, to, to be uh, to get like COVID-19 and whatnot which is I mean it's so bad it's so bad and what is happening uh, and, and it's not only the Muslims even the Christians the Christians who want to go to church and pray the Christians who want to go to uh, morning prayers who want to go to evening prayers who want to go to a night shift kind of prayers it's not happening anymore everything is closed you can't go anywhere you can't do anything the way you used to do so this is actually so bad to humans to uh, uh, people out there who are actually uh, really uh, religious and people who are actually um, are looking into the spiritual 
type of thing in a different perspective but on the other note it doesn't mean that since the churches and the mosques are closed it doesn't mean that you cannot pray anymore you know you can you can convert any place to be your own uh, little section for praying come on man you can do anything anywhere you can pray it doesn't mean that just a, a building is a qualification of uh, a prayer or something it's qualification of you when you pray in that building your prayer is going to be hard most uh, as opposed to you staying in your house and praying no it doesn't work like that God listens to you anywhere even if you're in a dingy dinky house somewhere in the village and you decide to pray uh, and you decide to pray the Lord God is gonna actually listen to you it's just a connection between you and God it's just a connection between you and Allah you and uh, the God that you pray to you get it so I know we're going into hard times but hard times uh, are sometimes inevitable and we have to this this is just testing our faith probably just testing how we're gonna handle our faith and trust me if we handle it in a good way brighter days are gonna come to us anyway such an amazing video from uh, uh, this guy and it's, it's a short film such an amazing short film well filmed and I like each and every bit of it and uh, yeah so let, let us not feel um, uh, under underwhelmed let, let us not feel bad of the situation that is happening around us this is actually a challenge but it's a good challenge it's a good challenge uh, some people feel like this is the right time for them to actually find out who they are for themselves who are you because most of the people didn't know who they are they they just know the uh, surface side of themselves but then they, they, they like they don't know the inside you know so and the only way to actually uh, the only way out is within if you find who you are you will actually know exactly what you want in your life so this is a perfect time actually as long as we are in quarantine as long as we are indoors as long as we are staying at home try and find something that will put you at a pedestal that will put you at that height of polaris at that height of you becoming uh, greater so that when this thing stops you can come out there strong this is the time that we need to rejuvenate as human beings and also the what do you call this i mean the birds the animals the plants this is the time to breathe in and out the earth that we live in which is a big cell is actually the time for the earth to actually embrace a uh, good uh, atmosphere you get it so it's any everything happens for a reason man. everything happens for a reason this COVID-19 that, that just came in it did not come in as a result of people dying this was actually uh, a way to show humans that you know what you need to be paused a little bit and focus on uh, your faith focus on who you are you get it what's your purpose here on earth <laughs> why are you here we're not here to actually acquire big amount of wealth I understand I mean we, we need to get money in there so that we can protect our family and whatnot but the bigger picture is that you're here for bigger picture as compared to um, monetary value but anyway thank you so much for being part of this video you're super amazing thank you so much if you feel like a reaction to video in a better way just give me a thumbs up don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about our reaction what do you feel about my reaction what do you feel about this video right here just let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of question just ask me in the comment section below and i'll try to answer you in a very 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 uh uh amicable way i mean in a way that i can answer it you get it just let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of question and also just let me know what do you think about this video over here and do you think are we going to come out strong or not just let me know in the comment section below also the most important thing don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm going to see you rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out